Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom alert sound for Mac OS. This will allow you to import any sound of your choosing into the alert sound section on system settings and will allow you to set your own customized alert sound for your Mac OS device that will play whenever there is an alert to be played on the system. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so this process will allow you to play your own alert sounds on your macOS device. So if we head into System Preferences here, or a macOS Ventura, it will be called System Settings. And we go into the Sound section. Um, so on macOS Ventura, it will all be on the left, as I've mentioned in previous videos. Um, so you can find it there, but on macOS Monterey and older, it's found around um, the middle in the bottom half of the settings page. And when you click on that, it'll go to the sound effects pane and you can select an alert sound. So it's got all the default Mac OS ones here, such as all these ones, which are all um, loaded into the operating system by default. But there's no option um, within the settings to actually add your own customized ones. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to close our system preferences for now, but we'll go into it again later on. And what you need to first have is your files that you want to play. So I've got a little folder here, and I really liked the Windows 7 sound effects. So especially from the Australia theme, um, they were some of my favorites. So I've chosen um, three of my favorites here, and I've got them in a folder. Um, but you can choose any audio files you want. Um, so just make sure you've got it. Um, you can have as many or as little as you want. It's all up to you. Now, what we need to do is preferably um, they should be in a .mp3 format before we start. Um, I'm not sure if other formats work with, if I, with this. I've only tried .mp3, so I'd recommend going with a .mp3 file um, if you can. Um, and what you need to do is once you've got your files, um, we need to rename them with the extension .aiff. So it'll still be an MP3 file, but it's renamed to a format that macOS can recognize and place it into system settings for us. So um, what we're going to do firstly is rename each of these um, with the ending .aiff. So we'll put that there. So um, keep your name there and then put .aiff. When you click enter, it will give you an alert saying, are you sure you want to change the extension from .mp3 to .aiff? If you make this change, your document may open in a different application. When you see this, you need to click the use .aiff button here. Um, and when you click that, it will rename it to a .aiff file. Um, so you can do that on all of the different files that you want, whether you just have one or whether you have multiple of them. Um, you can go ahead and rename all of your files with that extension. So now once you've done that, um, what you'll want to do is open a new finder window. So keep this one open, um, but go command N to make a new finder window here. And you can just go to any file folder you want here. And what you need to do is make sure you're selected on the finder window and go up to the menu bar up the top and click on the go button. Now, once you're at the go button, you'll see all these different options of where you can go to. We need to go to a folder called library. Now, it doesn't show up by default. To make it show, you have to click the option button. So you'll see when I click the option button, the little library tab comes up here. So when I click it on, you'll see it shows up. So while holding down the option button, you can then click go to library. And then you'll see that you arrive at the library pane. So then what you need to do is, it will be at the top when you see it, you need to scroll down until you find a folder called Sounds. So this is all in alphabetical order here. And you'll need the folder called Sounds, which you can see here. Now, if there isn't a folder already called Sounds, what you can do is create one yourself. You can just make a new folder 
and call it um, sounds if you want to. Um, obviously, it's already taken because I've already got a folder called sounds here. Um, so if it's if you can't see that sounds folder, you can just make your own there and um, that will work just fine. But once you find that folder called sounds, open it up. And then what you want to do is copy your um, sound files, which are now .aiff files, into this sounds folder. So if you grab them here and go copy, and then we can paste them into the sounds folder, and you'll see that they've arrived just there. So that's all we need to do in Finder now. So we can close out of that. And now we can go to System Preferences and go back to Sound. And if we scroll down, you'll find at the bottom that they've come up now. Here they are. And we can listen to them here. And they're all there available to use. So now that we've imported them into the Finder folder for sounds, um, you can see that they've all arrived and you can now set them as your personal alert sound on Mac OS. So if we wanted to use, for example, Windows exclamation, um, you'll see that whenever I error something on Mac OS, like when I'm switching between Windows here and I try to quit the Finder, it will now play that sound, as you can hear there. So um, that, and that applies to all of these custom sounds. So I can do that for that. And also Windows ding, you'll hear that all works just fine like that. Now, obviously, um, if you want to revert back, you can just go back and choose whatever you had set on before, whether it was a default Mac OS or something else. You can always go back in here and um, select that alert sound and go back and choose it. If you want to remove the uh, custom ones altogether from your list, all you need to do is do this process in reverse. So if we close our system preferences, we can go into Finder and click Go and hold down the option button and click go to library and then scroll until you find the sounds folder here and then you can just remove these files um, from the sounds folder so we'll click move to bin and we'll empty the bin here and now there's nothing in the sounds folder and if we reopen system preferences and go to sound you'll see that those files are no longer existing in this alert sound picker. So um, that's how you can remove them if you decide that you don't want them uh, in that folder anymore. So yeah, that's the super easy process on how to add a custom alert sound into Mac OS. Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success being able to customize your alert sound experience on your Mac OS device. I know I really like being able to do this because those Windows 11 sounds, it's just some of my favorite alert sounds I've ever heard. So um, I really like adding those into my Mac OS experience. Um, and hopefully you've had a lot of fun uh, customizing your Mac OS experience as well. So yeah, let me know in the comments below um, how your experience went, if you've got any questions or comments, and also any video ideas, you can leave those comments down below. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.